This video describes some of the features of a parabola, its vertex, focus, and directrix. I want to start by finding the equation of all points that are equidistant, the same distance, from a point 0p on the y-axis and the horizontal line y equals negative p. I'm assuming here that p is positive for starters. Certainly the origin will be among those points as it has a distance of p from the point and p from the line. But the other points on the x-axis will be closer to the line than they are to the point. So if I want the set of points that are the same distance from the point and the line, that's going to be a curve that curves upwards, something like this. So for example, a point out here will be the same distance from the point as it is from the line. So our intuition is suggesting that this set of points should be the shape of a parabola. Let's confirm this with some algebra. If we take an arbitrary point with coordinates x, y, its distance from the point 0, p is given by the distance formula x minus 0 squared plus y minus p squared. Its distance from the line, y equals negative p, is just given by its difference in y coordinates. So that's going to be y minus negative p, or y plus p. Let me set these two quantities equal to each other and simplify. I can square both sides to get on the left x minus 0 squared, which is the same thing as x squared, plus y minus p squared equals y plus p squared. Now I'll distribute out. That gives me x squared plus y squared minus 2py plus p squared equals y squared plus 2py plus p squared. The p squareds cancel out, as do the y squareds, and I'm left with x squared equals 4py after moving this negative 2py to the other side. I could also write this as y equals 1 over 4p x squared, and you might recognize this as the standard parabola y equals x squared transformed by vertically stretched, stretching or shrinking it by this factor of 1 over 4p. You might recall that this lowest point of the parabola is called the vertex. This point here is called its focus, and the line here is called the directrix. Notice that the number p in this equation represents the distance between the vertex and the focus, and also represents the distance between the vertex and the directrix line. For this reason, if you're interested in the focus and the vertex, this form of the equation might be more useful than the equivalent form, something like y equals ax squared, where the, that distance p is more hidden. Now, so far, we've just considered the case when p is greater than 0. Let's look for a moment at what happens when p is less than 0. Then, when we draw the point 0, p, it's going to be below the x-axis. And the directrix, y equals negative p, is going to be above the x-axis, because we're taking the negative of a negative number makes it a positive y value. Our parabola will also be upside down. All the algebra works out the same, it's just in our equation, this coefficient of y will now be a negative number instead of a positive one. Or if we write it in this other form, which might be more familiar, our coefficient of x squared will be negative instead of positive, which signifies that the parabola is pointing down. Since p is now a negative number, if we want to talk about distances, we should write absolute value of p instead of p. Next. Let's turn things sideways by looking at the equation for all points equidistant from a point p0 on the x-axis. Here we're assuming, for starters, that p is bigger than 0, and a vertical line at x equals negative p. Our intuition suggests that this should be a parabola pointing sideways. And we can work out the same algebra steps to get an equation for it. 
starting with an arbitrary point x, y, the distance from the point p is 0 is going to be given by x minus p squared plus y minus 0 squared. The distance from the line x equals negative p is going to be given by the difference in x coordinates, so that's going to be x minus negative p or just x plus p. I'll set these two distances equal to each other, square both sides like before, and simplify. This gives me the equation y squared equals 4px, which I could also rewrite as x equals 1 over 4py squared or x equals ay squared, where my a corresponds to my 1 over 4p. Once again, if p is negative, then my parabola will be pointing the opposite direction. But my equation will still be the same. It'll just have a negative coefficient of x instead of a positive one, the negative number being hidden inside this variable p. As before, the absolute value of p gives me the distance between the vertex and the focus and also gives me the distance between the vertex and the directrix. Now let's find the equation of a parabola with a vertex at some arbitrary point hk instead of the origin, assuming that the parabola opens up or down. If the parabola had its vertex at the origin, we know it would be given by the equation x squared equals 4py, or I could rewrite that as y equals 1 over 4px squared. So this parabola should just be shifted to the right by h and up by k. From transformations of functions, we know we can accomplish this by sticking a x minus h on the inside and putting a plus k on the outside. In other words, we have y minus k equals 1 over 4p times x minus h squared, or we can write this as x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. So this is the original with the vertex at the origin, and here is the transformed by shifting right and up to have a vertex at hk. Notice that the equations are exactly the same it's just you stuck in a minus h and a minus k near the x and near the y. This transform parabola will have its focus a distance of p up from the vertex. So that's going to be the point h, k plus p. And it's going to have its directrix at a distance p down from the vertex. So that's going to be the line y equals k minus p. Everything's the same for this other parabola pointing downwards. We just have p is negative in that case. The same story holds for the parabolas pointing right and left. The original equation, y squared equals 4px, gets transformed when we shift the parabola over into y minus k squared equals 4p x minus h. This time, the vertex is a distance p to the left or right of my vertex. So here it would be h plus p k. And the directrix would be shifted over by p also from the vertex. So this would be the vertical line x equals h minus p. It works the same way when the parabola is opening left instead of right. It's just in this case, p is negative. Let's use this information to find the equation of a parabola with vertex at 2, 4 and focus at negative 1, 4. I'll start with a quick sketch, which will help me see how the parabola is lined up. So here's the vertex at 2, 4. And the focus is at negative 1, 4. So here's the focus here. Now, since the parabola always hugs its focus, that means that this parabola must be pointing left and looks something like this. The directrix is going to be on the other side of the parabola, the same distance as the distance between the vertex and the focus. Since this distance is a distance of 3, 
to minus negative 1 is 3, the directrix must be 3 units over here to the right, and so that would be the line x equals 5. Since my parabola is open to the left, I know I need to use the form of the equation y minus k squared equals 4p x minus h, where h k is the vertex, so that's 2, 4. I also know that p is going to be negative, and since the absolute value of p represents the distance between the vertex and the focus, I know that p must be negative 3. So filling on all these numbers, I get y minus 4 squared equals 4 times negative 3 times x minus 2. I'll simplify that to y minus 4 squared equals negative 12 x minus 2. In this video, we looked at special forms of the equation for a parabola. The forms y minus k squared equals 4p x minus h and x minus h squared equals 4p y minus k. In these equations, hk represents the vertex and p's absolute value gives the distance between the vertex and the focus and between the vertex and the directrix. Parabolas in this form are opening right if p is bigger than 0 and left if p is less than 0, and parabolas in this form are opening up if p is bigger than 0 and down if p is less than 0.